Hey everyone, we have been getting quite a few questions lately about urinary calculi. And so that means it's time to do a video on urinary calculi so that when people ask us in the future, we can refer them to the video. Um, first of all, I wanna say, and we're gonna put this in the um, description, we have an excellent um, podcast episode on urinary calculi with Dr. Van Son from Penn State University where he goes into all of this in great detail. So most people think urinary calculi is really simple. They think that um, it doesn't matter whether you feed your bucks grain as long as you give them ammonium chloride and as long as you keep the uh, calcium balanced. So as long as you give them alfalfa along with the grain, they'll be fine. And you give them ammonium chloride, they'll be fine. And that's all there is to it. And that's probably what about 95% of people online think. And that is about 25% of the story. So the answer is like with so many things goat related, the answer about what causes urinary calculi is it depends. And that is one part of it. So grain causes struvite stones. And that is only one type of stone. And it really doesn't matter what kind of stone your goat has. If they have a stone that's big enough to block their urethra, it could kill them. So it's really important that you feed them correctly. And especially, it really, this is really a problem with your weathers and your bucks. And it can be a problem with bucks. And it is all about diet. So many people you know, want to wait until their, their boys are four months old or even six months old before they castrate them. But the reality is if a goat does not have stones, a goat can't get blocked and it can't die. And the stones are all about the diet. So the age of castration is really irrelevant. If when you're talking about um, a goat having a problem with stones, because stones do not form without a dietary component of that. And I'm only going to talk about the two most common here, but in that podcast, Dr. Van Song goes into uh, some of the other types of stones. And I, um, those are more for people that live in specific parts of the country because there are a number of different plants that can cause other types of stones. So like if you live out West, you know, there are some plants. He said when he was at Oregon, um, he used to see a lot of one of the other kinds of stones, which I can't even remember what it is right now, but it's in the podcast episode. So struvite stones, number one, those are caused by um, eating too much grain or just grain. Like it, I think too much is going to vary from one goat to another. You know what you, know, you, you can have five goats in a pen and only one of them will wind up with urinary calculi. The other four will be fine. And most for most people, a 20% mortality rate is not acceptable. So Anyway, we're not, you know, if you've ever, if you've had three or four weathers and fed them grain and nobody ever got urinary calculi, that doesn't mean that this does not exist. It also does not mean they don't have stones. A few years ago, I worked with someone who was having a very hard time convincing her mother to stop feeding their weather grain. And then one time they wound up having to take him to the vet hospital for something unrelated. And they did an ultrasound on him and said, wow, uh, his bladder is full of stones. So his he was forming lots of stones luckily they had all been small enough that he was able to pass them so far so anyway seeing that her mom finally agreed okay we will stop feeding him grain so just because your buck hasn't had a problem and just because your buck hasn't died or weather it doesn't mean that they don't have stones and it doesn't mean that they won't get blocked tomorrow because one of those stones is going to be too big before it passes so the struvite stones are caused by grain and the problem with assuming that like, oh, I'm just going to give ammonium chloride, is that ammonium chloride only affects struvite stones. It does not affect any of the other stones. So, um, and then the problem with saying, oh, well, we just have to balance the uh, calcium and the phosphorus. So with that grain, we're going to give them alfalfa. The problem with that is that alfalfa can cause calcium stones. And there is nothing you can give them to prevent calcium stones. So, you know, you might be giving them the ammonium chloride and you might be giving them the alfalfa to balance the calcium and phosphorus. And then your goat could wind up with calcium stones and die from that. So it doesn't really matter what makes the stones form. 
the problem is if they get a stone that's big enough, it can block them and it can kill them. So I just wanted to share those two things with you. Those are really important. Weathers do not need grain. Bucks don't need grain unless maybe during breeding season, if they get really skinny, you know, from being a buck in breeding season, then you can give them a little bit of grain um, and or alfalfa for a short period of time. But this is not something that they need year round. And, you know, we've had bucks for 21 years. And as long as they had an excellent quality grass hay, they have been great. Um, they don't, you know, they don't get skinny or anything like that. So it's just a matter of finding a good grass hay for them. So if you have any questions, be sure to post in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Bye for now.